I have a very special video for you right now because right next to me here is a power wagon, an older one, but it's quite unique because it's had a life of really going off-road probably half of its miles and also towing big heavy trailers and also have a very cool person who owns it which is Nina Barlow. <laughs> Hi Nina. Hi Andre. So um, I don't know if you remember this but five and a half years ago we were next to this power wagon your yeah. truck yeah. and we were talking about kind of some of the mods you've done to it mm -hmm. and here we are we met again so yeah. I wanted to kind of walk around the truck show some of your other additions to it like the snorkel right and also like See, how has, how has it been as a truck for you? Mm. It took a while to get up here. We started out around 1959. But we didn't do all that just to get here. We did it to give you a truck that'll take you anywhere. This is the new Nissan. Tell me about the life of this. Uh, and it also has a name. Uh, yes, her name is Ellie. Okay. And she is a 2017 power <laughs> wagon, of course. Yeah. With a 6.4 Hemi. 73,000 miles we're at right now. About 40,000 miles those have been towing. So if she's on pavement, she's usually towing. Okay. Um, and, uh, or, you know, she's off in the dirt and she's, um, you know, it's either, you know, full bore in the dunes or it's uh, rock crawling, you know, scraping along, you know, sometimes dragging broken things or, or fix, you know, fixing trails, dragging boulders and stuff around. So no easy miles. We call those Nina miles. <laughs> Nina miles. But uh, also people may not know because you also have, uh, rental companies yes. for Jeeps. Can you tell me a little bit about that? And this is where the truck is working as well, right? Yeah, so she, the, when I'm towing, it's usually because we're uh, either delivering or recovering, um, you know, one of the rental Jeeps. Okay. And, uh, and, and the trailer's about 3,700 pounds, um, and our Jeeps are modified, so they're usually in the, you know, mid, mid 5,000 pound range or whatever. So this is so Barlow like. Adventures, yes. what, in Sedona and Moab? And in Moab, yes. Okay. Yeah. So cool. So this truck is kind of your support utility machine. Yeah. Right. All right. So I think last time I saw it, it had this bumper. Yes. But what else have you done over the years here? So we've changed the, we changed the winch out to a tiger shark. The tiger shark is uh, kind of the workhorse of the super winch line. It's not as fast as the Talon, but I don't need fast for her because uh, it's not for self recovery. It's for trail work t typically or yeah. You know, if she has to come out on a vehicle recovery, it's because it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you have a heavy platform. This yeah. power wagon is a heavy yep. duty truck, right? Yep, absolutely. Um, so we replaced the synthetic line on here uh, with the super winch, uh, or excuse me, the, um, the super line, the master pole super line XD on uh -huh. the super winch Tiger Shark. Okay. Um, so, you know, a heavy duty line to go with a heavy duty truck. Um, and that bumper was there almost from the beginning. Almost from the beginning, because yeah. I knew, um, you know, I'm kind of hard on bumpers. And you can see, you know, we've got some rock scars on here. Yeah, I see on the passenger side, <laughs> especially there. Yeah, yeah, under all the bug splatters right now. Uh, and so that, and the bumper, of course, the AEV bumper also gives me better access to the winch. I like, um, okay. you know, the, the power wagons, of course, come with the winch and it's beautifully inset and it's a nice streamline, but yeah. I, I need it a little bit more utilitarian, so... And kind of a tougher bumper as well, yeah. right? A bigger, yeah. bigger bumper. Yep. And you have extra lights there. Yep, absolutely. You have to have some for some lights. night work, right? Yep. <laughs> we hope we're not out that late, but we we can be. So. So this truck, so 6.4 liter Hemi, like you said. Yep. This is a six-speed automatic because this is an Correct. older generation uh, right. power wagon. So how have those miles been, like as far as like mechanically uh, so speaking? So amazing. I mean, it's it's been the best truck I've ever had. Uh, no driveline issues at all, um, in spite of what I do to it and with it all day, every day. And um, it's been uh, uh, through, you know, hot and cold and, like I said, towing and sand dunes. Okay. and breathes dirt most of its life, you know, which is why which, we added the snorkel later. All right. yeah, oh. So we'll get to that in yeah. a second. Let's talk about tires, right? Yep. Okay. So you put 35s on it yes. almost from the beginning. Yes. Okay. Did you do any suspension work though? So the, uh, we did end up doing a little spacer. So a little leveling kit, the Daystar leveling kit up front. Oh, I see it right there. Just to give us a little more clearance for those tires and the offset wheels. Okay. Um, but that's it. There is the factory suspension. Bilstein shocks yep. and you know lockers front and rear, yep. disconnecting front sway bar. Yep. Um, and then you put uh, this kind of um, rock added, rail. Yep. Added the uh, these are maple off-road rock sliders. These are um, 
the real deal. You can they weigh about 400 pounds. Okay. <laughs> so okay. Lots of complaining from the guys when we put those on. Yeah. But they have saved my bacon because um, I tend to kind of bounce off the of stuff when I'm in the rocks. And <laughs> you can see some of the rocks got still got past my sliders. But yeah, and then the exhaust <laughs> is mostly stock, but yeah. One of the resonators is gone. Yeah, right? I changed um, fr uh, from the muffler back. I changed it. To, I took the the exhaust off of a 2500 diesel, uh -huh. so we got rid of that resonator. So because the resonator was normally twist. being here. Yeah, right? and when you're backing up and you know finagling on the trails, it's just one more thing to kind of hang up on rocks. Plus, it sounds really cool. So because <laughs> because one of those resonators is now gone, yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll fire this truck later, maybe. Yeah. In, oh, I, I can see a little bit of Moab maybe here. What uh, is that's that? a little Sedona. Sedona? That's a little Sedona. Okay. Yeah, yeah we There's had, we had some good rain this week. So. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. Yep. Sweet. All right, well, let's pop the hood because I want to see right. the snorkel and talk a little bit about uh, that. All right. Oh, there it is. There's the Hemi. <laughs> yeah. And actually, so Ram hasn't really changed this engine in recent years because I don't know if you could see right next to us, there's a 2023 uh, Ram Heavy Duty Rebel truck yeah. <laughs> that we're actually testing here in Big Bear. And that has the same spec engine as this. Yeah. Basically. All right, so how did you integrate the snorkel? I, I'm, so it uh, goes through the fender. Okay. It's an AV piece. Yes. Um, and it, it comes with, you know, the two options, just kind of the, the intake or the pre-filter. The okay. pre-filter is kind of this big bubbly thing, maybe not the most attractive thing, but it, that's actually, the snorkel is not because of all the water crossings I do, because, but because of all the dust. Okay, lots and of so dust. And so that helps kind so of So it's an additional filter. Air. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So then it goes kind of through the fender yep. and it goes into the stock box? Yep. yep. Interesting. Yep. Okay, sweet. And that has, uh, we just checked this. We just popped off the, the intake okay. and it was totally, totally spotless clean after 20,000 miles. So very, very cool. Since we put the snorkel on. Yep. Sweet. So, so then, um, so can you show me like your mileage? You sure. said, you said, yeah. <laughs> and you, you're keeping your trailer miles as well? The truck keeps it for you. Okay. Yeah. Can you yeah. show me that? Yeah, absolutely. So that's total miles down below. Yep. Just so about, about 73. to roll, just about, oh, there's the trailer. So 39,852 trailer miles. <laughs> it's really cool that yeah. it actually lets you yeah. keep that because it also helps you know how many miles you have on your trailer. Yeah. So yep. if you want to change tires, if you want to change bearings or something right. like that. Right. That's pretty neat. Yep. And then um, that's not counting, you know, flat towing dead things out of trails and stuff too. So. Yeah. <laughs> Because you do a lot of those, obviously, yeah, exactly. rental vehicles and other vehicles. Um, and you have, um, I want to show here, sorry, so this is the disconnecting sway bar controls, front and rear lockers. And do you use that much? I mean, when you're off-roading, do you use all those oh, um, yeah. features? The, the sway bar, of course. The sway bar is my favorite. Um, and then, you know, with the stuff that we're doing, if I'm going for the lockers, it's usually both because you know the, you know how the traction control system is in any of the Stellantis vehicles. It's pretty aggressive. So if you find you need lockers, let's use well, what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah, you know, with me, it's 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 all the way. It's <laughs> it's either street driving or yeah. full on, right? Because you've yeah. also done Rebel Rally, and yeah. you've been very successful. You won how many times? Um, we won twice overall. Uh, we've won bone stock four times out of the six times we competed. So yeah. that's what we really want to bring home, you know, for Ram trucks or Jeep, yeah. whoever we're, we're uh, rallying for that year. So yeah, <laughs> so very, very cool. Well, I, I'm really happy I, I've got to catch up with you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank after you. all this time and and Ellie is still here. Yeah. Do you have any more plans? I mean, are you going to keep running her? So, you know, I think it, it's, it's time, it might be time soon. I'm, I'd be specking out a new power wagon. It's just, you know, I can't imagine having anything else, honestly, at this point, so. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, she, she kind of deserves a, a little bit of an easier retirement, I think, <laughs> at some point. <laughs> I'd uh, love to have that big 12 inch screen that you can get now, you know, cause of course she's still, you connect three, she doesn't even have CarPlay. <laughs> so that's about the only thing that is missing. Sweet. Yep. All right. Well, thank you, Nina. Yeah, I really appreciate thanks, it. Yeah, thanks, Andre. All right. <laughs>